a wholesaler sent in a quad. AHS Consulting Services, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. And this show, right, it's the MLS Search Analysis Show, but we do more than search the MLS, right? We do do off-market deals, for sale by owner deals, wholesale deals, things like that, right? And that's what today's show is about, okay? I got a couple of clients, AHS Consulting Services, right? Uh, this is a few folks that got together and uh, they have a property management business. They're based out of New Jersey and they're trying to buy some properties here in the Cleveland market. Now, uh, we had contracted to do a uh, larger package, so we're going to be working together for several properties here. But the first one we're starting off with is one that you guys have been in contact with a wholesaler. And the wholesaler is asking $55,000 for this, what you know thus far. The asking price, fifty five dollars uh, you're going to need approximately sixty five k to rehab the house. Three of the four units are occupied, and those three tenants are all paying 500 a month in their uh, long-term tenants on month-to-month -month leases. Now, the wholesaler sent you guys some photos, right? And the address of this property is 646 East 123rd, Cleveland 44108, right? So this wholesaler, he shot you guys uh, a few photos, right? And by the way, guys, this is not on the MLS, off-market deal. So, you know, the nice little uh, MLS printout you guys would normally see on the screen here. That's why you don't have one, right? We're just going off of uh, what we have. And these are photos sent in by the wholesaler. So uh, we got some stuff of the inside. Basement, obviously a little, you know, a little rougher, right? There's the outside. It's a quad. As far as the mechanicals go, this is probably around 20 years old, I would guesstimate. These usually last about 30 years. Uh, hot water tanks, they each last about 15 years. You know, those might be like 5, 10 years old, something like that. But you guys already know it's going to look a little rough, right? I mean, you got like, uh, looks like a garbage bag uh, over the window in the bathtub. But, you know, the wholesaler was up front with you. He told you, hey, man, we're going to need to do a big old rehab, right? Uh, so, you know, you should anticipate to see some, you know, some rough stuff like this, right? Sheet and, I don't know, what are those, like, boards or something that you see behind there and, Got a little weight bench and a little desk, I guess. Uh, so, you know, it's rough, but that's to be uh, anticipated, right? All right. Okay. And that is all she wrote in regards to the photos. Now, my issue with this particular property is not the condition, because the wholesaler was great uh, in running. You guys know you need a big rehab, right? And if you spent that kind of money, 55 and then 65 on a quad, you're all in for, what would that be? That would be uh, da, 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 65, 75, 85, 95, 105, 115, okay? You'd be all in, well, that'd be 120, right? You'd be all in for 120 on a quad, bringing in approximately $2,000 a month. And then two bed, one bath units in the Cleveland market, you should be able to get 650 to 750. So even though a huge renovation is required, wouldn't be a big deal, would make sense because it's very hard to get into a quad for $120,000. It would in fact be a good bird deal. But what we're about to do now, normally I would like to run the numbers. I would give you guys the uh, market rents and then show you the costs and break it down. An estimated expense of what you would be spending on that. And normally, the numbers would turn out really good and this would be a very successful bird deal. But that's not going to be the case today, right? The reason being is that neighborhood, guys. That is going to be the end all, be all. Now, this is an F-class neighborhood. I know you two... Are you folks, rather, you guys are all, all the folks in your group there, you guys are, you know, pretty risk uh, tolerant, right? You're okay going to C and D neighborhoods, but this is going to be an F neighborhood. And even though the price point, just from a pure cash flow perspective, would seem to make sense, you have to understand how bad and how blighted the neighborhood you're buying in is and how much you'd be overpaying, right? Here are the comps in this neighborhood, right? We have a multifamily house that sold for 6500 7,000, 
7,000. We'll, we'll scroll up some more. Another one for 7. 72, 8, 10, 10, 5, 13, 5, 14, 14. So you get the picture of what we're dealing with, right? So when we look at these investments, we have to look at the comps just as much as we look at the numbers. And then speaking of the numbers, another reason I don't want to break down those numbers for you is I can't give you a reasonable expectation of what to accept or what to expect, right? When we're dealing with property management, we're dealing with tenants, there's an unlimited amount of variables at play at all time. And, you know, you're not always going to collect that rent, and then there's going to be issues. When we get into rougher neighborhoods, I like to go Section 8 to alleviate those issues. But just a neighborhood like this is just, it's, it's like too far gone. It's too rough. It's too tough, right? If you guys watch our show, watch what we do, Google Holton Wise, check out all the reviews online. You know, we're very transparent. We give out the good, the bad, the ugly. And uh, look, man, we're not, uh, we, we don't handle people with kid gloves, I would say, right? You know, we're some savage motherfuckers, right? You, you know, we got a rough image, uh, a rough show. We call it like we see it. And as you see from the Tennis from Hell show, we deal with some rough stuff, rough neighborhoods. So it's not like uh, we're just asking and only willing to deal with like, super nice suburbs i mean we deal with some pretty rough stuff this neighborhood goes beyond that level of roughness okay like the neighborhoods we deal in you can't just pick up homes for 7k 7k 65 so this is just like an extreme level of blight and danger and we won't manage in neighborhoods like this and again we're some rough motherfuckers so like uh, you know, finding a quality licensed property management company that's willing to do work in neighborhoods like this, you guys are going to have a really big uphill battle. And the reason, you know, that we don't do it, A, it's dangerous for our employees, right? They're, uh, they're nervous. They're scared. They don't want to get uh, jumped, robbed. You know, as far as the trucks go, right? We're trying to work on a house. We have to worry about our trucks getting broken into. So I can't maintain a construction and property management staff with an appropriate amount of turnover if I'm constantly sending them into neighborhoods like this. So for those reasons, we just don't deal with it. It's just not worth it for us as a property management company. And again, we're one of the rough, you know, we, we handle rough stuff, right? We're the, we're the most well-known property management company in the Cleveland market that handles rougher assets, right? So to try to find a legitimate company with legitimate systems and processes to handle this stuff for you, it's going to be very, very tough. In addition, like actually collecting the rent and all that jazz, it's going to be tough when you're in a neighborhood like this that's so rough. The only types of people that are, you know, typically going to live there are people that can't get approved to apply for housing in other places. So you're dealing with drug addicts, hookers, violent felons. You might be dealing with murderers who did 25 years and now they need to go live somewhere and they're back into society. Well, where do you think they live? They live in these really rough neighborhoods where the housing values are almost nil. So... As far as like what of that scheduled rent you'd collect, I can't even really tell you because, you know, you're not going to have a legitimate property management team working on your behalf. You guys are out of state. The risks are just too high. It's it's too hard to predict. So it's going to be very tough. So for out of state investors, I, I try to lure them away from these F class neighborhoods. I think the only people that like should make moves into neighborhoods this distressed are the local folks that have their hands physically on it. I'm talking like local contractors who are familiar with these neighborhoods, local seasoned pros uh, that are doing a lot of the work themselves. To hire somebody third third party, it's just it's really not very feasible. So just based on the fact you guys are out of state, you guys are from Jersey, new to this market, I would say this is probably a little uh, too rough for what you guys are doing. I have some other neighborhoods that still have great price to rent ratios, things of that nature. And, you know, we will work in them and we could actually, uh, you know, put together some nice things for you. So we'll, we'll look into those on the upcoming videos. And that risk level aside, just based on how you're investing, the other thing is, in general, just the, the price, right? The price you'd be paying, 55K plus 65K. So you'd be all in for, what did I say earlier, like $120,000? $120,000 in a market where the homes regularly go for 65, 7, and 7. I mean, just for the pure price, the, the property, what the wholesalers are advertising to you, is just a, it's a rip-off deal, right? Now, maybe, maybe things would change a little bit if the wholesaler was offering you that property for $5,000, $6,000, $7,000. But, I mean, dude, 
they'd be getting one over on you if you were to pick it up at that price. So uh, I would recommend you guys pass on this deal. I think this is going to be one we deny. We don't worry about doing this deal. And then stay tuned for subsequent videos from me. There's a... Uh, there's a neighborhood that I'm probably going to target for you guys since you guys are looking for, you know, a little bit of the rougher stuff. It's on the west side of Cleveland. It's uh, called Clark Fulton, and that's near uh, the Metro Health Campus. And the reason I really like that neighborhood, hey, it's already less risky and less blighted than this. Like, you ain't going to find houses for this cheap over there. And B, Metro Health is putting a billion dollars of investment into that neighborhood. Uh, they're committing to improving their campus as well as uh, surrounding areas. They're going to put some affordable housing. And it's it's bordering some really nice areas. It's bordering Ohio City, Tremont, Detroit Shore, things of that nature. So I see some possible appreciation happening there in addition to the nice cash flow. And my team, we do actively manage hundreds of rentals in that neighborhood. Uh, you know, it's tolerant. We could deal with it. The The level of danger and risk is not too high uh, for our appetite. So I'm probably going to check a few properties like that in that particular neighborhood for you guys, because I would love to see you guys maybe do something like that before doing this deal. And again, if you were to still want to move forward with this deal, you still feel you're comfortable that you can get a uh, an on-the-ground person to handle the additional risks. I would not want to see you pay anywhere near fifty-five thousand. You'd literally need to pick it up for these prices uh, for it to begin to make any sense. So that, folks, is what I have. Uh, quickly before we end the show, everybody else who's watching this, if you're out there and you are trying to invest in Cleveland real estate and you are looking at deals being offered to you by wholesalers, like today's show. Or maybe for sale by owners, but you're in another state and you're new to this market. You need unbiased advice and you want to work with me and my team, just like AHS Consulting is, guys. What you want to do, you go to HoltonWise.com, okay? Click the property search for sale tab. We got options for you. This is the uh, MLS search analysis show. You click that and then we're going to go over our packages. Like this whole page just goes over packages. Now, we could start things off where you just have one property, like today's property, and you just want to get my due diligence, make sure it's a good deal, right? You'd always put uh, contingent on home inspection on your offers, right? You want to make sure the home inspector could tell you if the house is good or not. Great, continue to do that. But what about the business aspect? What about talking about the neighborhood, the tenants? You need on-the-ground advice. You need someone to look over those comps for you. We could do that. So you could do just one property, or you can do the big old packages. We got 10 property packages, four property packages, and those are great because you give me, you give me your criteria, your wants, your goals, your needs, what you're trying to do. I learn about your situation, and I try to match you with the perfect property. Like these folks, I understand what they're trying to do. Uh, they've given me, you know, a few things about what they want to do, and I've got, you know, a general idea of the direction I can uh, take them and help them to build their portfolio. And if on the next video it doesn't match them specifically what they need to do, we'll adjust, and then we'll make another video, you know, shifting gears, guys. Like, you know, here's start, here's finish. We don't have to make it a straight line. We might go this way, this way, this way, this way. We gotta, we gotta shift. We gotta adjust. We gotta adapt. But eventually, we'll be able to put together. The perfect portfolio for you. We got to match you with the right property. Like outside of the price being way wrong, I'm not saying that this particular property in today's show wouldn't make somebody some money, but I do not think it's going to make a group of investors in New Jersey uh, who need to hire third party management to break into this market. I don't think it's going to make them any money, but maybe, maybe if I was talking to somebody who was, uh, a local Clevelander who also owned a construction company and has had rentals for 30 years, I'd be having a different conversation with that person in regards to whether or not this could work. But again, all this is notwithstanding that price because it don't make no damn sense for anybody at 55 k So if you'd like that level of service, guys, pick out the packages. You can work with us. If not, if uh, you're not trying to do that, you just want to browse our inventory, you go back to the property search for sale tab and you guys can just check out the investment properties for sale show. And uh, these are all the properties that we've been hired to sell or we are selling to you from our portfolio. And every property is going to come with its own video tour. We break down everything, guys, give you drone footage, interior footage, check out the furnaces, the hot water tanks, give you the rent rolls, all the big ticket items, all the things you need to know to make an appropriate buying decision. 
you watch that show, you'll just be able to bid off the properties right there on the show, and we can do the property management for you after. Or you can, you know, send it out to another company. We're an a la carte service. And make sure you're subscribed to the mailing list, too, because we'll actually just email this show to you every day at 1 o'clock. We have a, a new offering every day at 1 p.m. So that's it, folks. That's all I've got for today's show. As always, I am James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing made easy this is your show this is the show where i work for you directly taking your needs i'm going through the mls and i'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys put down 25 percent. that's the perfect way to buy this that's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world based in indianapolis indiana FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at DiscountPropertyWarehouse.com. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals. U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.